friends. I hope you're having a great day. I looked out my window and I saw the sun was shining and I heard the birds chirping. So I hope you can get outside and play a little bit today. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I have crazy hair days. My crazy hair does what it wants to do and not what I want it to do. Today our story is about a man. He doesn't have crazy hair on his head, but he has crazy hair on his chin. He has a crazy beard. Let's find out what happens in our story today. Mr. Follicule's Wonderful Beard. Mr. Follicule had no hair. Not a single strand. He was a, as bald as a beach ball. One night, Mr. Follicule looked in the mirror and said, I wish I had some hair and a wonderful beard to take care of. He's bald. Mr. Follicule went to work a very happy man. But Mr. Follicule's boss, Mr. This Won't Do, saw the stubble and said in a rather loud voice, Mr. Follicule, you are a disgrace to this office. Tomorrow do not have that messy stubble on your face. Now, Mr. Follicule felt very sad. Aww. That night, he shaved his lovely, bristly stubble and went to bed with a smooth, soft chin once again. The next morning, Mr. Follicule's stubble was back, but this time it was longer and stronger. Quickly, Mr. Follicule shaved. But no sooner had he finished shaving than the stubble grew back, even longer and stronger and thicker. The stubble was growing into a big, bushy beard. Mr. Follicule's wonderful new beard was furry and fuzzy and shaggy and very, very hairy. He brushed his new beard very gently and felt very proud. And he walked to work feeling very happy. Look at the smile on his face. He is so happy that he has a big beard. On the way, Mr. Follicule heard two boys whispering about his beard. The beard was not, had not stopped growing. It was growing faster and faster, furrier, fuzzier, shaggier, and even more hairy. At the office, everyone laughed out loud, except for Mr. This Won't Do, who said, That beard looks ridiculous. This quite upset Mr. Follicule so much so that he ate his lunch by himself in the park. Oh, that's sad. He was so sad that he ate his lunch by himself. It was very, very cold. It was a cold day, a shivery day, but Mr. Follicule had his nice long beard to keep him warm. A beard that kept growing and growing and growing. He wasn't cold because he had his beard to keep him warm. Overnight, Mr. Follicule's beard grew even more. It grew wider than his bed, longer than a bus, bushier than a big bushy bear. It grew out his bedroom door, down the stairs, and curled around his comfy chair. But it didn't stop there. Look how long his beard is. You see his kitty sleeping in his beard? Looks comfy. Oh no, it had grown out the window across the lawn and under the cars in the street. It had grown around the street lights and was blocking traffic. The cars couldn't move because his beard was blocking the traffic. Some people laughed, but many people looked angry. Moms, dads, aunties, uncles, grannies and granddads, babies, children and teenagers all pointed at Mr. Follicule's extraordinary beard. And poor Mr. Follicule was very embarrassed. That is a lot of hair. Mr. Follicule took a pair of scissors and cut off his beautiful beard. It took him all day to clean up the hair. He piled it into 100 big sacks, put them away in his garage, and went to bed. He was very tired. I'd be tired too. Look at all that hair he had to clean up. 100 bags it filled. That's a lot of bags. That night it snowed. 
it snowed all night. It snowed all day. It snowed and snowed and snowed for a whole week. It snowed for seven days. Mr. Follicule couldn't get to work. Nobody could get to work. Then Mr. Follicule had an idea. Do you see all the cars? They have snow all over them. People can't drive because there's so much snow in the roads. And it looks like everyone's stuck inside their houses. He took the bags of his beard. He washed it all and started knitting. He knitted all day. He knitted all night. He knitted and knitted and knitted. Look what he's knitting. It looks like he knitted a pair of pants, a pair of socks. Would you wear a pair of pants or a pair of socks made out of beard hair? I don't think I would. I think it'd be kind of itchy. Late in the evening, Mr. Follicule put all his knitted things back in the sacks. Then he went from door to door and left presents for all his neighbors. Each package had a little note saying, sorry. When Mr. Follicule was finished, he went home, brushed his little beard, and went to bed. He's tired from all that knitting. Even his kitty's tired, sleeping under his bed. Mr. Follicule woke up to the sound of people calling his name. He hurried outside. His beard had stopped growing. The snow had stopped snowing. His lawn was full of happy, smiling people, all wearing and using his extraordinary knitted gifts. Look at all those people wearing clothes made out of his beard hair. But they liked it. Must have prob probably kept him warm in the cold days and being out in the snow. And there was the biggest snowman Mr. Follicule had ever seen. It was holding a huge sign that said, Three cheers for Mr. Follicule and his wonderful beard. Look how happy everyone is. They all loved his gifts. The end. There's Mr. Follicule sleeping in his bed. I hope you guys like that story, Mr. Follicule's wonderful beard. Have a great day.